Hello brethren, I am Brother Hosanna David. Welcome to Ego Eye Opener Global Outreach. I had a vision this morning and it grips my heart. In this vision, I was telling somebody about death and instead of me to say, if you die tomorrow, and if I was trying to say, if you die tomorrow, where would you go to? I was talking about eternity. Instead of using the word death, I used the word thousand. And I said, if you thousand tomorrow. And I was thinking, why would I use the word thousand instead of death, if you die tomorrow? I didn't say, if you die tomorrow. I said, if you thousand tomorrow. Then the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, we are living in time, but death ushers, out, ushers us into thousands of years, thousands of thousands of years. We, when we die, we enter into eternity. It is either life in life or life in death. Hell is like you are dying every minute, every second, but the death is not coming to an end. How many of us are thinking about tomorrow? How many of us think about our tomorrow? Whether we will die and make heaven or die and go to a place of eternal destruction. It grieves my heart when I see a lot of people living their lives as if judgment will never come. Judgment must surely come. Hebrew 9, 27 says, For it, it is appointed unto men to die once, and after this, after death, judgment. Everybody will die. People are dying. I don't know where you are going to. There are lots of deceivers in the world, even in the church, who are ready to help you to go to hell. But thank God there are few people, few faithful servants of God who are ready to help you make heaven. Jesus Christ has paid the price. Death, the day of death is better than the day you were born. Better is the end of a thing than most than, than the, the beginning of it. We celebrate our best days, but how many of us think about our death day? It is, it is what we should pay attention to. People are going to hell. I, I don't cry for the death, but I always cry for the living. Because when they are dead, they are gone. Why I don't cry for the dead? is because I do my best as God gives me the strength to help those who are living so that when I try my best, if they don't take heed, if they don't listen to these warnings, I don't cry anymore. When they die, I tell myself, I either rejoice because I make heaven, because I live a good life, or I I, oh, I tell myself, Hosanna, you tried your best, only that they refuse to listen. My heart is full of pains. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. The world is about coming to an end. Jesus Christ is coming soon. We are living in time, but very soon we are going to live in eternity. Thousands of thousands of years. A time that has no end. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ died so that we may have life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for our sins, so that when we believe in him and forsake our sins, we will no longer reap the repercussion of our sins, but have life instead. Thank you for watching. Remember that sharing this video can help someone make the right decision. Share this video. Visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget to like and share. Bye.